Hey guys, in this video, we are going to find how many words are there in the given string. For example, here we have a str and that holds hey happy to see you here. Now we have to instruct the computer as we are finding this manually, right? For example, we can say that we have here uh, one, three, six words, right? And we know that because between each and every words we have a space. So the ideal goal here is to find the spaces and based on that we can find number of words we have. So we already know that we have a function called split and within that we can give the space as a delimiter. Let us see how to do that. So here I will say const words equal to str dot split and we have to split based on the space right. Now let us just log the length of the word. So words dot length and that's going to give us 6. So in this way we can find it very easily. So split basically returns us the array object. Now based on the array we can find the length using the property called length right. But there is a problem. For example if I add space here and here as well we can get the output as 8 but because of the extra space system is calculating because in the delimiter we have passed as a space. To fix this we are going to introduce the regex. Now we didn't learn the regex uh, a lot in detail but definitely I will make a separate video on that. So let us see how to fix this using the regex concept. So here I am just going to again use the same concept str.split and within the split I am going to pass the regular expression instead of just a space. So here I have to say new and then followed by a regular expression and then within this we have to pass double slash and then space. So space in the sense, s yes in the sense it is going to um, look for the space and of course we have to find multiple spaces so I am just going to include the plus sign here. Now let us try to store this in a variable so const my words and let us try to print the length of this so console.log and my words dot length. Now if you see here we are able to get this as space now does I mean 6 doesn't matter how many space I, I introduce it is going to give us this 6 as a value but in this case when we pass uh, when we split using the space only then it's going to give us uh, the 11 because it is splitting based on the spaces so that's the reason we have introduced the regular expression. Now what will happen if I have space in the front and in the back then of course it is going to give us again the wrong answer as 8 because we are splitting the string based on the spaces and it is also spaces right so that's the reason. We can solve this using the trim function. So here before splitting I can introduce trim and that will fix my problem again. So trim in the sense it is going to neglect the first space and the last space in the given string not in between the string right fine but we are using the split function can we do without using the split function yes 100% we can do let us see how to do that so first I will introduce a counter here so let counter equal to 0 and then followed by we are going to use the loop so here I can say for let i equal to 0 and i should be lesser than str dot length and then followed by i should be incremented by 1 and within the loop we are going to check the condition if str dot caret of i so we are checking each and every character if this is going to be equal to the space then i can simply increment the counter so counter plus plus And after the loop, I'm going to print my counter. So console.log and here I can say counter. And that is going to give us 5. But we know that we have 6. The reason is we are checking only for the space, not for the words. So of course we can add 1 to it and that's going to solve my problem. Right? So in this way, we can find the number of words in three different techniques. Also, we can apply more techniques like we can use the filter function or we can use the reduce function or even you can use the map function to do this, to solve this, right? So this is very simple programs and I think you got the idea, entire idea and uh, this will help you when we are going to attain any of the 
automation interview right so thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon